Warzone has been an absolute challenge lately. Um, not really so much winning wise, just more enjoyment wise. A lot of things are thrown in here. But in this video, we're gonna be going ahead and giving tips and tricks on how you guys can go out there and solidify more wins, more kills, and hopefully have more fun in Warzone. But if you do enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel today, and also click the notification bell if you would like some more content. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the video. It's always cute as hell whenever they kill an AFK or and they just continue shooting the body. That's how you know we're in for a long game. All right, guys, not wasting any time. We're diving into a match with McQuaid, whose team is instantly white, sitting in the gulag, and this is going to be a hot spot for sure. Only rocking one kill enemy in front of us right now. We need to use the mounting feature to our advantage for this NZ. We utilize the mounting feature. Unfortunately, we missed every shot, and that's GG. Now, I'm not going to make fun of anybody's aim, mostly because a lot of players are still trying to get used to the weapon. Trust me, I understand. When you have a new set of weapons thrown in, takes a lot to learn the recoil and even though loadout builds have no recoil these ground loots do and uh they're really tragic unfortunately McQuaid is out he had just come back from the ghoulie so he is done son let's go spectate leap who's back in the game trying to loot up and regain now he's waiting to see if his teammate wins the ghoulie before he grabs the most wanted bounty definitely the play don't grab it if you're only missing one guy it's an easy buyback Got a Cooper Carbine right now. It's probably one of the best ground loot weapons in the game. Now, one of the things I don't like about ground loot weapons and how they're built right now is there's really... Did you just see that door open? Is there's really no range to most of these guns. All right, unfortunately, teammate is down. Go ahead and just grab the most wanted bounty. We shouldn't be wasting any time right now. The map is still massive, right? The circle hasn't closed in yet. Teams are spread out. The chance of a team being over here, eh, it'll probably be mines. But if you go ahead and pick that up now, grab the berth and roll out, you should be good to go. All right, so right now there's two strategies you can do. You can go ahead and grab the most wanted bounty, grab the berth and just drive around. Um, in my eyes, time management is crucial. I'd want to go ahead and get that taken care of. Just grab the most wanted bounty, keep looting, and drive away. This player clearly is doing the other strat where he's just going to loot first while players don't know where he's at. And then, oh, you're using two ARs. I mean, MP40 is not bad. He's going to loot everything and then grab the most wanted bounty. But right now, we're wasting essentially about 30, 40, maybe even 50 seconds of our time. So basically the same thing. You're buying your teammate back. You're launching a flare, letting players know around you, hey guys, I'm over here. So if you're afraid to pick up the most wanted bounty because you think players are gonna know where you're at, they know where you're at now. So you might wanna leave. You might wanna go. Mine's is right here. Get in that Bertha, get your ass to safety. But again, buying your teammates back, going for most wanted is just personal preference, but I like to hold on to my money, utilize the things around me to again, manage my time more efficiently. Now, that's kind of a habit from Verdance. This game mode here, this map, time management's definitely still important. May not be as crucial since loadouts aren't a thing. And we're just going to abandon the Bertha and run towards our teammates. Hell yes. Now, we do have enough money to get another buy. But, again, time management, guys, even though it doesn't seem like a big deal, walk 40 seconds to your teammate or drive 10 seconds. If these 30 seconds start to add up, we've already wasted about a minute and a half of our time. In a 20 minute game, that's 120th. And this is just the first couple minutes of the match. And another 30 seconds just walking to the buy station again because we don't have a vehicle. And a lot of players want to avoid vehicles because they don't want to draw attention to them. However, Again, early game, early circle like this, there's really no reason to do that. Late game, I get it. You want to use your positioning, stealthiness. I understand that. But early game, just, just drive around. You'll be fine. Now, this poor guy's internet is botched. The circle does look like it's going to be rotating over to the east-hand side. Um, it's going to be an interesting one. Every circle, honestly, is going to be an interesting one just because of peak. It seems like we, we played five games yesterday in four of our five games. Look at these sites. What? Four of the five games that we played um, ended around the peak area. Very unfortunate. <laughs> Why is it so bad? All right, we do have an enemy above us, though. Uh, Leap going in by himself. We're trying our best to take shots at the enemy, and now we're just going to turn back and run away. Why are we running away, homie? 
This leads me to another point, guys. Again, stick together, please, for everything that's holy. I don't care what you thought in Verdance. Please stay together. Stay together in this game mode. We went all, we did all of that to buy our teammates back just to let them die. And Fiddy's just gonna hightail it and run. I don't understand why players do this. I don't. I mean, prestige level 40, you got time in the game. I'm just at this point assuming most players have been playing this game for a good amount of time. Yet we're all still seeing the same mistakes over and over and over and over again. And this is why players are able to drop 40 and 50 kill games is because they run into players like these. And again, no hate, not trolling, maybe a little bit, but I just don't, I don't, what the hell? I just don't see how, how players playing a team-based game just allow each other to go in one at a time, get picked, and then your homeboy runs backwards and runs away from the entire fight. This doesn't make any sense. And here we are, Rocky. Okay, all right. Ooh, gross. Automaton is useless. Do not use this gun. And a heartbeat sensor. So this right here is is definitely what we, what we like to call a body player, for sure. Heart beating over and over. Heart beating the open field. Just look at this field right here. When he looked to the right-hand side, and I'm gonna pause it and talk about it. There's just, there's openness. You don't need a heartbeat, you can see. You can see, son. But that's how much of a bad habit this is. And see, my main problem with the heartbeat isn't the fact that I think it's broken, it's not. The heartbeat is just a tool, it's there. I don't hate it. I hate the way players use it. Because, nice audio. Because when players are staring at the heartbeat, what are they not doing? They're not staring in the distance they're not looking for a glints looking for movement checking the windows checking their corners checking cover checking concealment they're not doing any of that they're standing at a damn baby monitor seeing if anybody's crying on that bitch and no they're not stop it now i'm not saying stop utilizing the heartbeat i'm saying stop playing with the heartbeat like you're a bot it doesn't make any damn sense went ahead and resized my camera how many people did that throw off just now look at this one two he's gonna go inside and scan one more time watch watch oh he didn't fuck Let's go ahead and pull up his stats real quick. Now, my last few videos, I haven't been posting stats, mostly because when I do search their stats, they're non-existent because they have their, their things turned off to whatever. So I, I really kind of abandoned it for now. But we can at least pull him up mid-match when we're, we have nothing else to do. He's got a 1.24 KD. <laughs> he's top 14% he's top 14 in the world. So with being top 14% in the world, I'd like to see a little bit more aggression, a little bit more animosity, a little bit more. What are we doing? You marked it. Let's start. Oh my gosh. And he runs. He runs away. This is why he's got a 1.4 KD. He'll get one or two kills and run away the whole time. Dude, guys, whoever's playing with Z Fitty, stop it. Just, just cut him out. Cut him out of your team. Cut him out of your life. No. The dude had him cracked. We had homie cracked, brother. And he turned tail and ran. That doesn't make no damn sense, I'm gonna be honest. It was a 2v2 fight. We had one crack, we had the advantage. We pinged it. We decided we wanna ping it two more times for some reason. And instead of utilizing that corner to put pressure on the enemy, we allowed our teammate to die just for us to turn around. And again, we cracked another one for what? To turn around. And right now we're in the middle of three teams. The cramp is chasing us right now. This is a beautiful sight. I'm gonna be honest, Fiddy, you deserve that. We're moving on, thank you. I mean, I know, I know I'm getting heated guys, but I do not like when players play as bad squad mates. I don't like it at all. You gotta play as a team, guys. It, it, not sticking together, that's forgivable. Watching your teammate die and just turning tail and running instead of helping him, that's an unforgivable a, a mistake. Unforgivable mistake. And again, with the, oh, you're in trouble, brother. This is just, this is one of the reasons why I really have not been enjoying this game lately is because of this fucking cramp is bullshit i mean you got cramp is chasing him and then you got tiktok billy robinson back there shooting at you i mean this is <laughs> why why and then you gotta fight him solo in a trio's match which means it's gonna take a lot more bullets to kill him you already have 24 bullets oh now you, you know you got ammo it just doesn't make any damn sense.
I really feel bad for this team, honestly. They probably could have... I don't know the situation they were in originally, but I'm, I'm betting one of their teammates died because of the Krampus and third-party bullshit. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and say that. But he does have nine kills, so we're sitting pretty right now. He's gotta get some squad mates back. We do have four grand, so of course, buy station is gonna be of the complete essence. This one, of course, is botched because there's 30 teams there. Um, this is definitely where you need to start heading to. You need to start heading there fast. All right, he's gonna go ahead. Oh my God, is he actually getting? No way, he's gonna send that one. No shot. What are we doing? Yo, he's being super aggro. I like it actually. He's got nine kills. I, and in my opinion, I'd like for him to play a little bit more conservative, get his squad mates back. But he is taking out the TikTokers, so let's get it. My bad. I was a TTK or not a TikToker. Oh, here, here he comes again. Here it is. We gotta get out of here, dude. This is no bueno. We're playing patient right now. We're trying to sound horn, but we got Krampus in our ear. We can't hear anything here until the very last second. We're almost able to snap on the enemy. Great effort, great try from Bibby. Unfortunately, he goes down to a guy with three kills, and here we are spectating this duo gameplay. Now look, going back to what I was saying, I really wanted to see him. I don't need to mute that. I really wanted to see him buy his teammate back first for issues like that. He's on a good game. He's got good pace. He was on pace to have a potential 20 kill game. Let's play a little more conservative. Go for the buy. We had a vehicle. Go for the buy. Get your teammate back and play your lives. We really, really, really were playing at risky right there. Going into an area we knew there were multiple teams. Going into an area where the edge of the zone was literally encroaching on. And also abandoning our vehicle. And here is... Oh, yeah. This is no bueno. And this is second mistake. Back-to-back -back teams have made just not paying attention to the zone. Guys, you got to take the zone more seriously. You really have to. I think most players just don't consider the zone as deadly as it is and as crucial as it is. Even if the zone didn't kill you, gate kept, whatever the reason is, most deaths are because of this zone. And I don't know if it's because I'm a PUBG player and the zone really hurting PUBG, but I think a lot of players need to take this shit more seriously. And here we are in the position, getting gate kept by two guys on a hill in a perfect gatekeeping position. Now, we kind of knew they were there because the vehicle's parked up there, but it is what it is. We're moving on to the next squad. Oh, 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 oh. Another team being third party. Fucking weird. Playing the edge of the zone. Oh, nope. Same guy. All right, but here we are spectating Hackney. We're rocking seven kills. Noob rocking four and Bot rocking 11. All right. 11 kills, level 45. Very, very curious to see this right here. Thirty-eight seconds till the zone comes in again. Talk, going back to the zone, let's take it a little bit more serious. We do have enough money for some UAVs, maybe some self reses probably a self res We're getting in game. Oh, um, but this is going to be a nice little area. The problem with sitting here though is going to be when when time comes, when push comes to shove, and we have to push sub pin, which we will. We're going to have to cross this open ass area, and any teams in here will be gatekeeping us. So you have a decision to make. Do you want to come here and gatekeep all of these teams and rack up in kills, which definitely isn't a bad idea, or do you want to go ahead and pre-position for the next zone? Strategy-wise dictates go ahead and pre-position for the next zone. Um, but again, if you're kill hunting, you're going to want to go here. All right, green right now is utilizing orange, kind of baiting his shots. To hopefully attract these two enemies and the problem is there's an enemy on our right hand side and enemy on our left hand side so there's a good potential that when we start shooting at one of them the other one might come up on our side and shoot us in the face y'all hear that did y'all hear that noise there's just so many random noises in this game now it it's always sounds like footsteps or someone getting a loadout drop and there's never anything happening Gunshots below us, directly below us. Unfortunately, we are playing edge gas a little too much. There's a good probability we might get third partied. I have no idea what happened to the squad behind us. There is a vehicle over there, so it could be them. We saw the enemy crawling down the hill to the right hand side because of combat scout. Unfortunately, I don't think he realized it. And remember, guys, utilize everything on your mini map to your advantage. You saw the enemy crawl down the right hand side. Guess what? Ah, oh, nice. Most players will crawl towards their teammates. Utilize that information how you will. They're crawling to the teammates. You know where they're at. That's an easy double kill. 
unfortunately team at the house is gatekeeping us orange goes down we're still in a position we could hopefully suppress and save him utilizing a cluster strike to hopefully suppress the enemies and get this res going up though cramp is coming back in to ruin noobs game this is amazing you gotta love this stupid shit but at least we're safe at least we're on the edge of the zone ping's going out to the west there he is above us shooting another team and guys look just notice notice right now every fight we witness there's multiple teams and where are they at the edge of the zone the edge of the zone and again if you're an aggressive player wanting kills play the edge if you're struggling avoid the edge all right twitch goes down team wipe as well rocking seven teams left you know there's a team that is building right here let's see how they play this they're playing a little bit conservative which i actually like i'm not gonna hate on them at all for that they don't know where the enemies are he thought he saw a guy jump down but even if he did we have no idea where his teammates are so they're just kind of trying to play their lives right now I don't know what happened to a snapshot grenade. Just kind of vanished. Oh, must have gone through the railings. That's a, that's unfortunate. And also, just notice how hard it is to spot shit because of all these trees. Now the trees, I don't think, I don't think there's that many trees, but I think because of the tops of the trees and the down, and then the down slope of the hill, all you see is just the top. It's weird that Krampus is hunting us, but he's just down there in a building messing with other squads right now. Maybe there's two Krampuses out. Who knows? The sounds are already so difficult to hear in the first place, and they add this guy in who's moaning like he's getting banged by 13 people. It's just ridiculous. Good snapshot. He's really utilizing this RPG to his advantage. <laughs> RPG meta question mark And here comes Krampus There we go. All right Thank God it gives me headaches. I'm right, moving in. We got a solo player in here. The teammates might have ghosts He's moving out. However, let's see how he approaches this fight Enemies just going from one building to another kind of camping it up playing it slow now this warehouse is kind of a bitch I'm not gonna lie. There's multiple levels really dark in there the under throws a snapshot. He was trying to bounce it, but it keeps hitting the sidewalk. It's the second time I hit the sidewalk. I'm gonna be honest. After watching this guy utilize the snapshot, I might start rocking it on this map. That's really helped him out a lot. RPG snapshot meta. All right. So right now the the circle is going to the higher ground. I definitely would want to get this rooftop. Um, the rooftop is gonna be the best spot to have no matter what one team is already up there I wouldn't let that deter me though. That is gonna be the power position no matter what because no matter where the circle rotates after this one The rooftop is gonna be safe in or if it's not safe the rooftop will have an angle to shoot other teams And here's one guy holding the roof by himself. So now we're in a good position now There's two teams left. We have a team over here and a team below us All we got to do is play the edge kill this team as they rotate in um, And it's a solo by the way. It's a 3v3 so there's a duel under us and one guy over here. This is a very easy win for us. All we gotta do is play patient, play slow, play the snapshot. Hey, look at the range of the snapshot. Dude, they must have buffed the, I didn't realize they buffed the range of the snapshot. I think now that I'm seeing it, I remember reading something about it, but oh my God. Dude, that thing went like 50 feet, 50 feet. But regardless, this is a great power position. Enemy's probably in the warehouse sitting in the corner. No buy stations left in, so unfortunately, he's going to have to try to win this by himself. Good luck, Chuck. Now, look, just because we're up here, though, remember, there are two people below us. Somebody needs to be watching the staircase. The last thing you want is for this dude to come out here, down one of us, um, and then just play this ridge on the right-hand side and just shoot down on all of us. We could actually throw this game if we're not watching our back. 
Just because the team is below us doesn't mean they're going to be below us for long. And there is a ladder that comes up here. And even just a decent gas mask play. They just run through the gas and get safe. Look, he's playing that corner. He's in the corner of the warehouse. There's no doubt about it. He's got to kind of analyze what you where you think they're at. They're, they're, he's sitting right here, son. Right here. Snapshot grenade in this position would be great, too. If your boy would just go ahead and throw it, snapshot him, wall bang him, GG. I think we're giving a little too much focus on this enemy. Only one of us need to be watching him. Oh, he ran out the back going for gas mask play. It was a, that was a good effort. But regardless, again, we're, I think all of us watching one guy was a little crazy. Especially if this duo was actually decent. They know we're on the rooftop. They should know just based on the gunshots they're hearing. Um, just the fact that it's positioning, right? Just common sense. Oh, so weird. Holy shit, who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Granted, they didn't throw the game. But wow, as I was saying, if they were a decent team, this is what they're going to do. They do it. They do it and they get a knock. Luckily, the guy we were spectating, he really had some good uh, good aim and accuracy. and just snapped on that dude. But wow, guys, again, like I was saying, little too crazy. All of us looking in one direction and following each other. Some of us need to be watching our ass and look for gas mask plays. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed this lobby. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think of the new update. Y'all know my thoughts on it. I've been, I've been complaining about it for about a week now, but I want to hear your thoughts, your concerns, your accusations, so on and so forth. And also subscribe and check that notification bell. But till next time, guys, you have a good one and good luck in Warzone.